What's going on, YouTube? My name is Vitamin D. Stan, and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Love Rich. This is episode 35. Almost at 40. Can y'all believe it? It just feels like yesterday when I just said it was episode 10. Wait, actually, no, that was a year ago. That's cap. Anyways, <laughs> if you've not seen the previous episode, go watch it right now. Seriously, this is getting old. I'm always telling you to go watch it. Watch it. Thank you. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Huh? Oh yeah, this is the big bitty. I was gonna say Lena, because Lena is also a big bitty woman. This is the big bitty Eliru. So uh, yeah, welcome back. It's only six a.m. And it's a Sunday. You nobles know, sure are strict. Minachan woke me up bright and early. As I mentioned previously, it was a little after 6 o'clock in the morning. I could vaguely hear the sound of the older dorm residents wandering the halls. I guess a lot of them were already awake at this hour. Especially... Senpai! Uh, uh, go away. Uh, Senpai. I thought we didn't have radio calisthenics on Sundays. どうするかなって。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんなメンバーに。どんな
と思ったところからぐーっとゆっくりをしていくのが手っ取り早く柔軟を育てるコツですわあわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわ For whatever reason, so we e l l e t and Reyna showed up. Ah! Successfully escaped. Hey. He. He. <laughs> 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 It was still only 6 30 in the morning. ならあと1時間半柔軟を続けましょうかキーあ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、みんなは特別柔らかいものね。あ、エルもすごいのよ。やってみて。あ、こうですか。She sat on the ground. おお。She stretched her upper body all the way down to the floor with ease. Even assuming that Minachan, who was able to do a full vertical leg hold, was a special case. She was the most flexible in general. 格闘教習においては柔軟性が基本事項ですので。にしてもすごいよこれは。Rina proceeded to push against Elisan's back. Unsurprisingly, she wasn't bothered by the sudden pressure and bent over at an 180 degree angle without breaking a sweat. Hey, yeah, wow, wow. これってやっぱこう小さい頃からの積み重ね的な。ですね。というか柔軟性って小さい頃に覚えてしまえば、あとは特に何もやらなくてもできるようになるわよね。s o v i e could pull the exact same feet. You're pretty flexible yourself, huh, s o v i e Must be nice. So, does that mean it's harder to be flexible as you age? Or the older you are? I'm only, I'm only assuming. Were you into stuff like that too, Sobi? Like hand to hand combat or sports? Oh, so ne. Bella? Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. Stretch. Rena followed her example and leaned forward, stretching out her long limbs. But. <laughs> You're surprisingly stiff. Even more so than I was. You're more flexible than the rest of us, Mina Chan. Aren't you getting a little carried away here? Huh? ゲロの柔軟を手伝ってやりなさい。ああ、we're gonna keep going? That s o u n d sat me down. 痛くなったら痛いと言ってください。Oh god. I'm not afraid to speak up when it a c t u a l It hurts! It hurts! ではここからゆっくり行きますので。I told you stop! She was just as hardcore as Mina chan. Oh. But. どうしました Nothing. You could do it a little harder. Push, push, push. What's going on?、Oh, of course, I should have known. That sudden sensation vaguely reminded me of Minachan. The soft, outstanding mounds were passed, passed, pressed against my back and jiggling like crazy. This made it worth enduring the pain. But oh, oh, God, you! 
No, it's okay. You're welcome to pound, push, and squish to your heart's content. <laughs> the voice actress went off. She went off. <laughs> I'm fine. So push and push some more. Whoa! Well, it hurts. It hurt. Hang in there, me. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Just a teensy bit. Teensy. She would complain with the two of us screaming first thing in the morning. It was nearly 8 o'clock. あ、少女幕が爆裂するかと思った。ところで今日何のお仕事？化粧品会社に呼ばれですわ。新しい化粧品のテストを試してほしいと。え、マジで？裏山。<笑> なんか新商品私たちが試すのは普通の化粧水よ新しい成分は何も入ってないけれど地中海で作ったんですってあ、That sounds like so's pitch to push more units 完全な新成分使ったのなんてシルビーには頼めないしねそれで小麦アレルギーとか発症したら国際問題だしこちらも正直面倒ですけれど王族として Minachan shrugged her shoulders. Japanese TV stations often made more money from cosmetic companies than from car or telephone corporations. They often made a huge killing off of advertisements and the like, and all at a prime cost of less than 1%. However, TV advertisements were a necessary evil when 99% of the sales relied on current beauty standards. That generic sounding description would nail any normal woman right in the heart. Sample hin yo morale kara, kondo watasa? Yari! Gold and silver, huh? That would make for a great sauce pitch. Despite being sisters, Sylvia and Minachan had different hair colors. Sylvia with her golden blonde hair and Minachan striking silver locks. I like the silver look, it's really nice. Then it hit me. That cosmetic line was the perfect product for them. And... Ellison with her golden hair swaying in the gentle breeze came to pick the two of them up. It was as a good idea. It was a good idea for the cosmetic company to take advantage of this kind of publicity, especially when it involved two princesses. But when it came to advertising makeup, I believed Ellison would have been the better choice. Why? Because of her biddies? Sounds kind of messed up, man. Even though I'm the one that said it. <laughs> God dang it. She's got quite the following online. This is probably that gossip magazine's doing. I booted up my PC and found several popular online blogs. There were tons of articles and photo galleries about Lady Sylvia, the princess studying abroad. Unsurprisingly, Ellison could be seen in a number of photos and many readers often left comments on those posts to the effect of, I like her more. <clears throat> the thing about the internet is those who Hover behind the scenes tend to be more popular than the people standing front and center. That's not exactly wrong. Ellison was beautiful for what it was worth. She was often pictured lurking off to the side and could easily be spotted, which gave many users the impression that they had discovered her. Irina's exotic sounding name also made for pretty good material, so of course she'd be popular. The Ellison and Sylvie faction seemed to be on good terms for now, but someone could start throwing together poor PictoShop edits and screen caps if things started getting dicey were they going to be all right and what worried me more what worried me most of all was 
Do you have a contingency plan for any gossip? The cohesive force of the internet in modern times was nothing to sneeze at. Huge media outlets aside, there were plenty of examples of small time tabloids getting material from sources like these and putting it to work to generate fads. Fads? Sylvie's family was living in a villa on the edge of the city. I heard the paparazzi, paparazzi turned up every single night. They obviously wouldn't let them into the estate, and there wasn't much risk of any peep shots since that would cause diplomatic problems, but. <laughs> Mina Chan looked rather troubled. It may have been good that she'd come to live in the storm, in a certain sense. As long as this dormitory was on academy, ac academy grounds, academy grounds that made this a paradise for young ladies linked to the political and business world, the entire government would crack down on any voyeur video attempts. In that sense, Mina Chan had nothing to worry about, but she looked positively gloomy over this whole thing. She read through the posts online a few times over. Why? Doesn't this, doesn't this Hiroino person look a lot like Princess Sylvia? Maybe she's a princess too? As if they just look alike since they're both white girls. Alright, the posts were all to that effect. Ellis' son and Sylvie. Why do I look so sad about it? I don't understand. I guess not that they mentioned it, they did look alike. Hmm. Ah, nothing. Uh, no, nothing. Couldn't be. This came up again this morning, but your online following is becoming more and more ridiculous by the day. ビジンだものね。うん。いかな権力にも制御しきれぬ存在が大衆とはよく言ったものです。雑誌もエルチンの記事が増えてる気がする。日本で最も景気を左右するものはブーム。マスコミは常にブームを求めていますね。シルビア
しかも俺が一番知ってる話は<笑> Happened right here on this very rooftop Man, she was so cute I thought she was cute on TV but she was even more beautiful in person She's so cool but when she smiles it takes your breath away I remember how nice she smelled too She's incredible For real Why is your face all red? I wish I could see her again. I wonder if she'd ever come back here. Gross pig, jeez. I wasn't being gross. Man, you're ice cold, childhood friend. I didn't remember it very well. Apparently, Ria and I had met when we were little. So we knew Soma kun, so there was no mistaking it. My memory of Ria from back then was a little fuzzy, though. Then again, she turned into a delinquent, probably looked and acted differently from who she was back then. Don't you remember anything from when we were kids? <laughs> ah, also, when are you going to see Sylvie? <laughs> Ryo plopped her favorite item into her mouth. I felt bad for Sylvie, especially when she was so eager to see her first love, Soma kun, but there was a lot to consider before the two of them could meet. As Sylvie's first love was none other than his female hoodlum. Then this, Ryo didn't sound interested in anyway. Better just look out for a better opportunity down the line. What opportunity? Golden time was fast approaching and Ria climbed up into the water tank. On the water tank. Excuse me, I cannot read. When can I read? I don't think there's ever an episode where I don't like read wrong or see words. Or it's just I need to remember to slow it down. It's hard. It's hard because I catch myself reading fast and I'm like, hey, chill out. Mid sentence. Oh, and drink water, you look crusty dry. Sure has. Yeah, I saw someone mention that online. There were some complaints that tomorrow, November 23rd, should be recognized as Great Big Brother Day as well. Not a bad brother day, I'd imagine. It's not that big of a deal, to be honest. The dates are just a play on word in Japanese, so I doubt it would translate well for anyone in sort of this. Mina-chan, are you homesick? Now, now, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. I know, you could think of me as your big brother if you wanted to do something to celebrate. Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, I have to say, that's not the reply I was expecting. In Japan, it's proper etiquette that unconditionally respect all the men you interact with on friendly terms, almost like a big brother. Your behavior was awfully iffy just now, especially for a little sister. I bet your brothers back home would be disappointed. She really does act like a younger sister, though. The real question is why is she always in a maid outfit, bro? Do you not have different clothes in your closet, bro? What are you doing? I wasn't sure where this was going, but Mina chan was fired up for some reason. This ought to be entertaining. What's with the music? I don't like this. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> God dang. No, he does not. Stop saying that. How about Onichan then? I love being called Onichan. Why? What's up with this dude? 
He definitely w he definitely watches stepsister point on the hub. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't get comfortable with that. No, no, no. Me and Chum blushed. She didn't seem to be especially bothered by that form of address. What is it, Mina? Is she okay? Someone gave her drugs? Someone laced her a drink? You've really done a ton to help me too, Mina. Mina. Mina? <laughs> This freaking woman, does she ever knock? Oh my god. Oh, and uh, Mina, there's no coming back from that. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Radio calisthenics? We just died of cringe. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> They were having a little moment, it was kind of cute. But now it's not. Now it's awkward. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just a game, that's all. As unfortunate as it was, things could become awkward between us later if we'd kept that up for much longer. Good. I'll get ready now. Hang on a sec. <laughs> she really needs to learn how to knock. She's so silly. Stop. Oh, God. Hmm? Oh, thank God. Don't finish that sentence. Poof, almost died again. Of cringe. <laughs> it was another day of boring lectures. I'd figured something out recently. Even at Noble Academy, students were bombarded with one difficult class after another. Today's lesson was on Tokugawa Yoshimune. That was the name second fame only the what's Leyasu and the word of Japanese shoguns. I obviously knew that much. Um he had some involvement with petition boxes or something. My elementary school tier knowledge on the subject wasn't the least bit useful. <laughs> Those words suddenly piqued my interest. For whatever reason, I focused intently on the rest of the lecture. What the? I don't recognize this Soto and this route so far. He's he's being weird. Then during our next break. <laughs> Japanese history is practically non-existent overseas. Had to be tough for anyone who came from Europe. Their history classes like only touched on the first Sino-Japanese war and that one little island they failed to colonize. You do? That's what you know about him? You need to speak up, Bella. I could barely hear you. I assume it's my fault. Sorry. <laughs> what? What? It was a pretty old-fashioned game, if I said so myself. Yeah, Sammy. They had taught us that Tokugawa Yoshimune was this great benevolent ruler who was behind the revitalization of the Edo Shogunate ever since we were in elementary ever since we were elementary schoolers. But he had his fair share of shady aspects too, surprisingly enough. 
やはり創作の影響が大きいですね天下太平が売りであった江戸時代の物語を作るならば治めている征夷大将軍はやはり善の存在とされますし他にも日本の時代劇といえば忍者そして江戸の隠密といえば伊賀流でおなじみお庭版伊賀忍者知ってるわそう現在では忍者といえば伊賀物つまりお庭版で知られますがこのお庭版を組織したのが吉宗公であったため忍者を主題とした時代劇では常にその大家分の位置に据えられたのが吉宗公でした味方の一番偉い人なら完全懲悪な時代劇じゃそのまんま正義側になるよねはい The actual only Wavan were apparently pretty nasty then. So, this is it. On Mitsugoto, a Kihon Tekini, a Ako Utsno de Naka. Yato Inishi, Tsugo no Yi, Shikomi Okona, Kosaku in this guy. Oh, yeah. When Tokugawa Yoshimuni became a feudal lord, didn't more than seven of his relatives coincidentally die? Sarani Shogun of Kimer Toki, rival that the Owari Han no Hanshu mo Kyushi. Sono Gomo Shui no Fushin Shito, Shitemo Kirena Jin Se. 今さら証拠は出ないとはいえ暴れん坊将軍だったんでしょうなそういう意味じゃそれだけの力があったという意味では名君らしいといえば名君らしいですけどねこうしたことが重なって無条件で善意の解釈が当てられがちな吉宗公ですが歴史的事実のみを見ればやったことは独裁者の色が極めて強いです It's one of those dimensions of history you only recognize d once during a dawn. 初代将軍家康公から続いた将軍家の血筋が途絶え、分流である御三家から入った初めての将軍。そのためか、まず吉宗公が行ったのは、将軍家の勢力図に、自らの側近である、キー徳川家の人間を大量に導入することでした。The patistic rule that drove all other actors off the political field. I bet politicians would get a lot of flack if they try that now. So, the first time I was in the world, I was in the world. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. The first time I was in the world, I was in the world. So, today I had no idea that I had been ousted because of it. Ousted? Because of it? He was supposed to be so famous, too. Arai san seemed like a competent guy, too. But he was pretty much forced out. You know, that's why I was like, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. 増税策がうまくいったのは運が良かったわね欧州の歴史は基本的に王族が搾取を強めては革命が起きて亡国の繰り返しなのに I'm a look at America They literally freaking rioted because of a tax taxation on tea Like isn't that crazy? <laughs> そして吉宗公が行った中で現在でも意見が分かれる最たる政策がご参考です。The three branch and three secondary branch families? ごっちゃになるよね、これ。テストでは嫌なポイントだわ。You said it. 大雑把な役割もほぼ変わりませんからね。えっと、将軍家の血筋が途絶えそうな時に、次期将軍を育てておくための文系なのよね。そうですね。他にも理由はありますがやはり一番は江戸幕府が続く限り家康公の決闘が続くことを第一に考えたシステムです吉宗公はこれに乗っかって御三家から次期将軍職の権利を没収新たな将軍職引き継ぎの分家として自分の実施らを始祖とした御三家を建てましたぶっちゃけ幕府の乗っ取りだよねありてえに言えばそうですねこの御三教のシステムは現代でも極めて評価が分かれます新たに三地域を徳川家に取り込んだことで大名間の結束を強めたとも言いますが吉宗公の家系である
キー徳川家以外の御三家尾張水戸徳川家からすれば一方的な次期将軍職となる権利の募集策でしかないまあ納得いかなかっただろうね尾張徳川家は特に腹に据えかねたようですねこの100年後の明治維新の時期にも将軍家を見限って官軍に味方していますし仕方ないわね血筋というのはそれだけ根が深いものだわいつの時代でもんこのように名君と歌われる吉宗公もその施策には光と影があり味方を変えれば身勝手な独裁者となるのが歴史の面白いところです増税して庶民を締め付けて各地の大名と険悪になって中高の外は言いますがその100年後に江戸幕府が終わった理由の大部分が吉宗公の少々暴れん坊すぎた施策にあったな,なるほどね歴史に興味が湧いてきましたか For sure. I'm gonna take a quick look into Tokugawa Yoshimune. Maybe I'll research how to do the samba first? なんでそっちに行くんですかオーロはもうどうやっても勉強は無理だね。True, true, true. Same here. Rena gave me a hearty laugh. It was on that note that our complicated discussion finally came to an end. However, we'd failed to notice that it sounded so we hadn't joined in the conversation. Mmm. Mmm. Lunchtime. ねえねえオーロ今日お昼一緒しない I'm not so sure I want to stand out in the cafeteria. Oh god. The robot eats. Ah. That always scares the crap out of me. It has no reason. No reason. Being so loud. And my volume isn't even that high up. Smoke plumbed from the toy's feet as it soared into the air. This robot, with all its mysterious functions, was an impressive piece of technology. But it must have consumed batteries like mad to make up for it. It's apparently very easy to trip a home circuit when they're equipped with an electric car charger. If she were to charge a little robot friend right now, then I'd bet the same thing would happen to the school, too. So, through Sylvie's royal privilege, <laughs> she plugged the cord that came out of its mouth in the concert hall. It's out. It simmered down and started to charge. This is the only spot with its own isolated electricity source? <laughs> that was a princess for you. Despite how old fashioned this concert hall looked, it could draw quite a bit of power. The lights were the primary power draw of the concert hall, so the school probably didn't take care. It didn't care, take care. Didn't care if she had happened to trip a single circuit breaker. Oh. <laughs> what the freak did I skip? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we took out her melon bread. I decided to join her and proceed to enjoy the sandwich I'd brought for lunch. It is. One of the nearby hotels makes these shrimp stuffed sandwiches and I got it delivered. I'm not giving it to you. I cut it in half and split it with her. <laughs> Better chow down, munch munch. Yeah, it's so quiet. Everything echoes. She was so refined. I stuffed my cheeks with. Pause. Stuffed my. With my half of the melon bread. Oh, yeah, Sylvie. Last time we were here. It put me in a bit of a strange mood when I remembered how we'd hugged each other. Wait. I need to calm down. I, I didn't need to be thinking about that right now. We met Maria Bishop. Anything new since then? Like her getting in touch with you? Oh, that's fine. Then. That manager of hers acted like she wanted to establish a closer relationship with Somi to help boost Maria's popularity. But it probably wouldn't have gone over well, so it wasn't all that surprising she didn't act on it. Dang, 
Small part of me hoped Maria Bishop and Sylvie so formed some sort of connection so we could see each other again. So, 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 did she figure it out already? I don't. We ran into each other the other day, of, and that was all. I was a nervous wreck and remained stiff as a board, but Sylvie so seemed to be bothered by the idea. It really didn't make a ton of sense to me. In any event, if we can't use your connections, then that just means we need to put our latest plan into motion. Oh, I gotta stop doing it. The odds aren't exactly high, but I did come up with something yesterday. <laughs> My mischievous smile must have rubbed off on Sylvia as she had a rather amused look on her face. Look on her face. I'm calling it the Elisana Idolization Project. Oh god. No, 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 no. This can't be what the root's about. Our plan was to turn Ellison into an idol so she could appear in a musical program and form a connection with Maria. Oh god. With how pretty Ellison is, I'm pretty sure it'll work out somehow. What? Since when was he a producer? Since when? Since now, I guess. Yeah, those were all from failed character polls, though. Oh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't want to be responsible for it, but I'd certainly cheer her on from the sidelines. Yeah. I never thought she'd go through with it and went along with the joke. Even now, I couldn't help but laugh at the concept. However, it looked like Sylvie wasn't in a laughing mood and refused to drop the subject. Okay, good. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> Her personality is Sylvia. That's what I was saying. Like, how is this going to be? Nah, I said that about Michael, about her being uh, Yoshino's servant. And then she turned out to be one of the best characters. So never mind, I talk too much crap. <laughs> hmm? Okay, I guess. She whispered too quietly for me to hear. Alright, thanks, Sylvia. We finished lunch and headed outside. When... Oh god, not her again. Oh! Someone I often saw loitering lo 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 around the dorm. When she spotted me, she ran over with a great big smile. That greeting had certainly startled me. <laughs> oh good, thank god. She ran away. Uh, well... I more or less knew why. I told her about what happened this morning. I bet that was just stuck in the back of her mind. Essentially the same idea as when someone called their teacher mom in the middle of class. I don't know if that's an accident, bro. I think they meant to call her mommy. Well, Mina-chan was the one who brought it up. Is she? Wow. That was an unexpected skill. You don't have to. I said as much to Mina-chan, but it's just a play on word in Japanese. A play on words in Japanese? So we seemed to be enjoying herself. Oh? Now that I thought about it, something seemed out of place. Elsan hadn't been with her today. 
先進部の伝達を聞いていて、oh, yeah. She's always with 食堂は探したのですが、もうそんなずっとべったりじゃなくてもいいから、危険などありませんでしたか、Bro, what? You're not an Andy Danger. Nay, wa? Nay, Kuro chan. That thing will literally blow the intruder up. Like, you don't need to worry, dude. So, this is. Sylvie had a machine, or rather, a bodyguard with us, so there were no issues. Rather anxious, I was gonna say obnoxious. That works too. Anxious looking at the sun didn't seem at all satisfied with that answer. No, she hasn't changed for the past two routes. Probably not in this one either. Well, no, she has to. It's her route. Hopefully. Nice. Please do it. You definitely win them. You definitely win them the championship. That has to be a table. You definitely win the championship if you enter. She's so nice. <laughs> Look at her butter. フェンシングに打ち込んでもらう必要がありそうね。しかし私にはシルビー様のご栄という。ごえ。いや、まあ。ボーセルごえ。エルシー。本当シルビーが好きだよね。シュアダーズ。好きって。いや。お伝えして
逆だよフェンシング界じゃノーブル学園は日本全体でも上位も上位だ。Oh, yeah, まあ日本は剣道が主流でフェンシング部なんて物自体少ないからってのもあるが、にしても相当強い。そんな中で頭一つ抜けてるんだろそいつ。Yeah. I wasn't entirely clued in on her abilities in any specific terms, but the members of the fencing club seemed to think she was good enough. じゃあ、すさまじいわ。Definitely. You should probably stay away from Melisan, though. She's more on the right side, and I doubt she'd keep quiet about your smoking habit. Uh, that's right. The one who was smoking, was smoking, and was smoking, and was smoking. Uh, sounds like something she would do. <laughs> the sun was dangerous when she got serious, and she certainly had the skills to back it all up. So, it's not a good thing. Eto, Eru, Nake? Eto, I just realized, has Ryo ever even. I don't remember, but I feel like I've never seen or read where Ria actually talks to Ella or even meets her at all. But am I wrong? Does anyone recall? Because I definitely don't. Yeah, Ella san. Irona di Kawayero Instagram san. What? Ryo looked bothered by something. Oh, is that Heroina part of her name? I guess that did bug you a while back, but e l i s o n s not as pervy as her name suggests. What does heroina mean, I guess? Like in Spanish, heroina is pretty much a very nasty drug. <laughs> oh crap. I moved my mic! No! Oh. d u m b a s s was pretty cool. Instagram. Instagram. Yup. Yeah, um. Timer went off. Nice. Yeah, um, I think that would be a surname for people from where they're from. Huh? Talking about Sylvie? Come to think of it, Instagram, something told me I'd heard it before too. Oh, maybe the other son hadn't been at the camp with us back in the day. Had been, not hadn't. Had been. Hadn't heard anything about it, especially not from Sobi, so I doubt that was the case. But. 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 Perfect! I need to end the episode. Like, I literally have no time. I'm going to class right now. Maybe. Probably. I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of King Koi. And if you did, good, because I did too. But seriously, if you did, please let me know by hitting that like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share this video with your homies, with your parents, your great grandparents, your grandparents, your great 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 grandparents, your dead parents, every parent, every friend, every whatever. Share this video, please. Let's get out there. Let's hit a thousand subscribers. We're so close, but so far. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you so much again for watching. It really does mean the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, y'all stay safe. As always, until next time. Wait, one more thing. I lied. We really spent most of the episode talking about history, huh? That's crazy. Anyways, later, guys.